Okay, now let us ponder quality. And just for a conceptual picture, uh, imagine you're going to use steam to do something. Maybe you're going to disinfect a uh, fermenter. Maybe you're going to use the steam to power a turbine. Uh, maybe you are using the steam to heat up uh, a heat exchanger. Okay, so those are all things steam is very good at. But steam is really better at it the more it is actually steam and the less it is just kind of water that's sitting there. So we use the term quality to be the fraction of the uh, stream that is steam rather than, so saturated steam, vapor, rather than liquid water. So if you have saturated liquid water, it is a quality of zero. And if you have 100% steam, like in our last little problem, that has a quality of one. And then everything else that is saturated steam is somewhere in the middle. So uh, the question then is if we have a stream and we know that its pressure is 0.1 megapascals, that's close to atmospheric pressure, and we know its enthalpy is 2000 kilojoules per kilogram, what's its quality? And you might be like, well, how do we even know it has a quality? And I'll show you that right now. So again, we're going to look at the steam table uh, from our textbook. And uh, this time, because we know a pressure, uh, we're going to look under saturation pressure. All right. And so uh, that's the line we're going to look for. And again, I'm going to copy and paste that into uh, my document here so I can write on it more easily and we can examine it more closely. So we are looking at this line here. So you see the temperature is just a little bit below 100 C. And again, my head's right in front of it because that's where my head goes. Uh, so 0.1 megapascals, 99.61 uh, temperature. And let's go look at our enthalpies. So how is it we know that this is saturated and how is it we know this has a quality? Well, if, it, if its quality was one, that is, if it was 100% steam, its enthalpy should be uh, this guy here, uh, 2674.95 kilojoules per kilogram. And uh, it's not, it's 2000. And so we say, okay, well, what about, is it 100% liquid? So we go across and we look at what would it be if it's 100% liquid? Well, if it was 100% liquid, it would the answer would be 417.5 kilojoules per kilogram. So we know we have a quality because we know one, its pressure is 0.1. So it's got to be here or in the superheated table. And then we know its quality is 2000. And 2000 is a value that's between 417 and 2674. So that's that's how we know it's got to be a quality. Every set of conditions exists only once in the steam table. So this is an example of why a physical steam table is useful. If we had this online, uh, you couldn't look at these things and uh, really make a determination of that. So how does this work? How do we find the quality? Well, uh, conceptually, how I want you to kind of imagine this is the enthalpy of this stream is a weighted average of the enthalpy of the liquid forever how much liquid we have. Uh, plus the enthalpy of the vapor for however much vapor we have. All right, and liquid plus vapor, we're not worried about stuff freezing here. So liquid plus vapor must be one, right? Like uh, that's 100% of our system. And so again, I'm going to give you kind of the version as I think about it. And then you can, uh, then we will use the algebra that either you can do or our textbook has done for us uh, to turn it into a simpler to solve version. So uh, so here's how I think about it. So, um, and I'm gonna write this one in terms of M. So we have kind of the, the property that we are looking for, that's M of this mixture. And that's gonna be equal to one minus Q. So that's the liquid part times whatever that property is of the liquid. And then I am going to add to that Q, right? So that's the other, that's the other piece. 
uh, times whatever that property is for the vapor. Does that, does that make sense? So that's a weighted average. That's just a way of putting weighted average. Now, you'll notice this is not conveniently phrased, so it's easy to solve for quality. Uh, but it is conveniently phrased so that we could solve for enthalpy. So if we knew the quality to begin with, uh, we could work this out um, uh, you know, as written here. Uh, but since we don't actually uh, know the quality to begin with, we are trying to solve for the quality, uh, we have to rearrange this algebraically to turn it into Q equals something, right? And you can do that yourself, um, or uh, we can uh, have it written out here. So let's see. In fact, I'm going to go through the algebra. You can fast forward through this part. I was going to pull it out of the textbook, but then I realized that I don't, uh, I don't have that here. So uh, we have m equals ml minus q times ml plus q times mv, right? That's just distributing. And anyway, I gotta make sure my L's look different than my V's, <laughs> but that could be a problem. So then we get M minus ML equals Q times MV minus ML. And so in a feat of spectacular algebra, I get quality equals M minus M L over M V minus M L. So there you go. Those are our two useful ways of working with quality. Uh, we have this first one here. I guess I shouldn't point with a white pencil. Uh, this first one here, if we know Q, it gives us our property. And then the other one where we know our property and it gives us Q. So we can just feed our relevant numbers in uh, and get an answer, right? So I want you to do that. Please go through uh, and do that and check your answer. It should be about 0.7, okay? Um, interesting thing here, a uh, fun little time-saving device. This MV minus ML, so the property of the vapor minus the property of the liquid, that is identical to the delta, whatever that property is, of vaporization right? Like by definition, that's what that is. So rather than you doing that subtraction, you can just look it up and write it down. Okay, enjoy!